It is an honor to present this award today. I take this opportunity to congratulate every participating organization and project, that is the over 40 projects coming from 19 countries. It is wonderful to see such strong commitment to the advancement of Roma equality, inclusion and participation across Europe. A special thank you goes to Roma Youth Voices, a project that we gladly fund for giving much needed publicity to your Roma youth issues across Europe. I deeply regret how little progress has been made to fight anti-gypsyism. I equally deeply regret the little progress made to address the fact that in the EU, four in five Roma are still at risk of poverty that is five times greater than the risk faced by the general population. Or to address the 10-year gap in life expectancy between Roma and the general population. With only 43% of Roma in employment, so much talent is being wasted. This happens in a context when young people's human and social capital is one of Europe's greatest assets for the future. There are 90 million young Europeans, and you are part of them. I want to change these figures. This is why we invested in bringing new approaches in the new EU strategic framework for equality, inclusion and participation, which I have put forward on the 7th of October. The new initiative embraces diversity in all its aspects and places a higher emphasis on Roma youth and it looks at creating opportunities and using the untapped potential of young Roma people. In doing so, a specific EU headline target has been established aiming to ensure, for example, that by 2030 the majority of Roma youth complete at least upper secondary education or to ensure that by 2030 less than one in three Roma youth is in education, employment or training. Moreover, since participation and empowerment are among the main pillars of the new initiative, the Commission is foreseeing a wide range of activities, both at the European and at the national level, meant to boost the active participation of Roma youth in the national and European structures. We will also make sure that countries stick to their commitments through the monitoring of progress. Moreover, an important part of this plan is the involvement of Roma and pro-Roma civil society organizations like yours. I shall now present the winner of the 2020 Best Roma Youth Project Award to Roma Youth Organization Walk With Us, Firena Menka of Montenegro, for your outstanding work to empower and educate Roma, enabling the type of participation in society that we want to see as part of our own EU Roma strategic framework. A big congratulations again to everyone who participated. Stay active, continue to fight for a better world and keep leading the way for the generations of Roma to come. Thank you.